Every picture tells a story. A picture, like a scent or music, is something that immediately evokes a feeling. That's the view of this year's recipient of the Astrid Lindgren Memorial Award, Isol. Marisol Misenta, also known as Isol, was born in Buenos Aires. Her childhood was rich with art, music, comics, and images. She trained as an art teacher and has studied art at the University of Buenos Aires. The picture book, Vida de Peros, about a boy and his dog, was rejected by one picture book competition. Isol says, I guess the eyes were too psychotic, and I was asked to tone down the smiles. The book, which was to be her first, was finally published without Isol having to alter her unique vision. Isol challenges people. She oversteps boundaries. Her colors frequently stray over the doubled up, almost bursting borders, and the layers of the images are intentionally mismatched. The themes are attention grabbing and easy to grasp, and the stories play with words and feelings. The beautiful, vain Princess Griselda literally makes men lose their heads with her beauty. One day, she has a child of her own, whose beauty makes the wayward princess lose her own head. Her stories are humorous, with surprising twists, at times philosophical, always clever. Isol creates picture books at a child's eye level, looking at the world through their eyes and exposing the absurdity of the adult world. Like in Secreto de Familia, where the daughter believes her mother is a porcupine in the morning before everyone is awake, something that has to be concealed from the outside world. Later, she discovers that her friends have been trying to cover up similar things too. Don't wake your sister. No, I won't. I'm just painting her dreams. Isol opens doors into our dreams. She likes the idea of dreams in both senses of the world. The dreams of sleep and the dreams of hope, of desire. In Nocturno, we're offered the possibility to choose the night's dream, with pages that take on a new character after a day in the sun with fluorescent ink that can only be seen once the lights have been turned off. Isol is a multifaceted artist with a musical career parallel to her visual one. She moves freely across the boundaries between illustration, music, graphic design, and poetry, which in turn resonates in her books. Isol collaborates successfully with others. A well-known work is Paul Auster's Christmas tale, Augie Wren's Christmas Story. Tic Tac is a picture book collaboration between Isol and the Argentinian poet Jorge Luján. In Luján's poem, a little boy wants to know how many ways his mother loves him. Like all the pearls in my necklace, like all the tic-tacs in my heart. Together, they've also produced Numeralia, an arithmetic book in which an apparently simple theme, such as numbers, is presented in a carnival of unexpected subtle playfulness. 
a masterpiece of ideas, which treats the reader to new surprises round every corner. A mirror reflects the words, a fish becomes a mouth, and some lilies on a pond replace the hats of the three musketeers. El 6. Para los tres mosqueteros mirándose al espejo. Isol says, I don't want to teach people anything with my books. I want to tell them unusual and hopefully fun stories about problems big and small, about fear, identity issues, and other things that affect us humans, both children and adults. Like in the book Petit the Monster, which is about a boy who doesn't understand adults' rules. Sometimes it's important to take care of your things, and sometimes you have to lend them to people. After hearing one of her neighbors yelling at her children, Isol reflected on the way the children might remember their mother with that open, screaming mouth for the rest of their lives. That moment was the inspiration for the book about the angry mother who turns into a balloon, El Globo. What a lovely balloon! What a lovely mother! And both the girls think to themselves, Oh well, you can't have everything. <laughs> 